guys and welcome to my channel in today's video I wanted to show you guys the very tedious process of painting a chair and this is actually a bench but it is just exactly like I would paint a chair and there are a lot of nooks and crannies and I know when you're um, painting you know your first project a lot of times people will pick a chair uh, thinking that it is going to be a smaller project but actually chairs are um, you know they have a lot of sides to them and they can t actually take just as long as doing like a dresser or a nightstand or something so keep that in mind when you're buying things I've gotten to the point in my business where I actually don't refinish chairs anymore um, for that reason they just take so dang long and they're so tedious but I'm starting out using a Zinsser Bullseye 123 primer and I um, use this this angled either a purdy or um, zebra brush and I will usually go like up and down or I will go sideways, just kind of depending on the angle that I'm in. But I'm just going for avoiding brush marks um, as much as possible. So whichever way you do decide, um, in the end, you know, like just to get it on there is fine. Just slap it on there. But when you um, smooth it out at the very end, you know, pick a direction and stick with it versus um, brushing all over the place. Now let me boss you around a little bit and make sure you use primer. Back in my day when I didn't know anything about furniture refinishing, I thought, ah, primer, just one more step, just extra money or whatever. And I know now from experience that primer really does stick so much better than paint. And um, trust me, because when I try to wash my hands at the end of the day, paint comes right off and primer really i have to scrub it and that's on skin so just imagine how well it is sticking on the furniture so this is a necessary step in my opinion even though it is tedious it's going to make your project take a little longer it's really going to give you the longevity that you want in a painted piece
it doesn't really matter if you start with the bottom or the top of the chair. I started in the bottom in this particular video, but one thing that really helps me when I work on chairs is having them on an elevated surface like a tabletop, although sometimes it can interfere with your chandelier, I guess. But it just helps me like not have to bend over and I feel like I can just see everything better. And then I just use another chair to stand on and do the top. I had um, them color match the color Mindful Gray by Sherwin-Williams. I had them color match it at Home Depot in just the bare um, paint plus primer or whatever it is they have there at, at Home Depot. But you could use the Sherwin-Williams. I've had great um, luck with the Sher Sherwin-Williams paint line. Um, or really any paint would be great. Just if you're going to use a chalk paint, you're definitely going to need to seal it. I ended up sealing this anyway. Like I typically will seal all my uh, projects just because I'm usually selling them or doing them for clients and I want to, you know, feel rest assured that they are going to last. Um, in this video, I'm not going to go over uh, and show you how I paint it with the Sherwin-Williams paint or the, the Mindful Gray color because it's exactly like I would paint with the primer. So I just follow the exact same steps and if you're lucky and they tint your primer for you, you may only have to do one coat overall and maybe just two coats extra in a certain spots. Um, again, they don't always tent your primer for you, but if you ask nicely, they usually do. And they might tell you something like, oh, we can't tint it to that exact color. And it's true because primer is just, you know, it already has a bunch of stuff in it. They can only add so much color, but just a little bit of color goes a long way in helping you not have to do um, more coats than necessary. But if you're going white, then hey, the primer is already white and I think they have a gray version too.
I said earlier, I'm not going to show you guys me painting this um, bench with the mindful gray color. Just follow the exact same steps that you see me doing with the primer. Just trying to get it on there and then smooth it out. I hope that this tutorial helped you and that you got some great tidbits that you can use when you refinish furniture. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.